Your Excellencies, Heads of State and Governments, I would like to begin by expressing my thanks to President Joe Biden and the government and people of the United States for hosting this summit to review the state of democracy today around the world. For us in Nigeria, we welcome the opportunity to set forth an affirmative agenda for democratic renewal in view of recent and current existential threats to democratic governance and the institutions. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, mindful that democracy is a process that must be nurtured, we are implementing good governance standards across all spheres of government. Fundamental to this effort is anti-corruption and efficient service delivery. As we count down to the 2023 general elections, we are creating the enabling environment and strengthening existing mechanisms to ensure that Nigeria records another peaceful transfer of power through free, fair, and transparent elections. May I reiterate that we are firmly committed to our constitution and our electoral laws, and we will defend these laws to guide our attitude and conduct. Your Excellencies, despite the progress we have made, democratic institutions in Africa and beyond are facing growing threats characterized by military coups and manipulated constitutional amendments to elongate tenures. The relapse in multilateral cooperation is itself a major threat to democracy. I cannot, therefore, overemphasize the urgent need for stronger and mutual actions to common problems. Partner and developed democracies must avoid being breeding grounds for anti-government movements that threaten our nascent democracies. Mr. President, Nigeria's faith in upholding, promoting, and protecting democratic values and principles remain firm. We will continue to lead the way towards strong democratic values amongst the nations of Africa. Thank you.